I've been reading the Bible since I was four. Do you accept everything that's in the Bible? Do you think being gay is immoral? I, don't, I, don't, I, I have never claimed that I knew everything that's going on. So you're yeah. using the Bible and then you're not using the Bible. But now you're holding me to your standard. Do you have contradiction? Probably. It does make you feel bad. Why aren't you a vegan then? You've got blood on your hands. I... You seen this before? I've seen very similar stuff. What is it? What is this? Ah, uh, you're seeing a uh, sheep. Not the way to do it. Is there a good way to kill? There's a less bad way of doing it. There's not a good way to do it. Exactly. There's, there's there, of like, course, there's less bad it's, ways to kill it, people too. It's yeah. still, oh, exactly. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how you would morally justify this kind of killing and suffering and even just robbing someone's right to life from them if it weren't some kind of survival situation. Does that mean that it's just if it is some kind of survival situation? Even in the survival situation, I don't think it's okay for me to kill you and eat you, but I'm saying that you have reasons, you know, but now we have basically just taste, tradition, culture. We don't have a real good moral justifier to do this. Yeah. Unless you can come up with one, that's all. <laughs> no, not for, for things like overfishing. No, I can't. Let's just talk about one fish, drag them out the ocean by their face, mm. smack their head on the ground to kill them as quickly as possible. Yep. Do you think that's even justified if I could just have just easy, easily eaten a baked potato with some beans? It's justified, if, if you justify it. Well, is it justified from the animal's perspective if you have other food? No, but it, it, is it justified from the animal's perspective that we get to live in a house and it doesn't? No, but we're, it's not really a rights viol We're not violating I their know, rights by living in a they house. They don't get cars, you know? Like I'm just talking about giving them the, the basic fundamentals, like not the right to their life. Yeah. The right to not be enslaved and cruel and unusual punishment, like torture, which is uh, what you're watching now, a gas chamber. Yeah. It's the main way they kill pigs. CO2 gas, they burn and suffer. They know they suffer too. The meat industry know they suffer. Free range pigs go there too. So do you think it's okay to do this because we live in houses and they don't? Huh. <laughs> no, uh, no. I don't, I, I mean, from, from what I was raised, I, like, I know the farmer who brings it to me. I know how it's done. I know Jeffrey Dahmer, mate. He brings them to me. I know how it's done. <laughs> yeah, well, you, I mean, you can... You can. Uh, well, you know Jeffrey Dahmer, right? The guy that killed people, right? Yeah, yeah. He killed those humans usually with, like, a... He'd put them to sleep. Yeah. And then he'd lobotomise them. Yeah. Then he, they wouldn't wake up. Yeah. But first, he would have, like, this... A date with them. So yeah. give them a good night, nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them a, a, a date rape drug. He would kill them and then he'd eat their bodies and that. Yeah. Right. That was like the most uh, compassionate killing you could think of. I don't think it was the most well, compassionate. Well, wait a second. Well, you think that slaughter can be humane. I don't think that that's compassionate what Jeffrey Dahmer did. I think he's a murderer, All right. right? Yeah. But you were saying, I know the farmer. I know how they treat their animals. Yeah. And I just said, I know Jeffrey Dahmer. I know how he treated his humans. You don't think that that's okay. But with the farmer, if you know the farmer and he knows he treats his animals, yeah. well, they still go to the slaughterhouse, get decapitated. And I'm saying Jeffrey Dahmer's method was to give him a tablet and put him to sleep. It was almost more humane. So I assume you look at yourself and other animals on the same plane? Uh, not completely, no. No. But uh, definitely, they are mag orders of magnitude uh, higher in value than your taste preferences or your cultural conditioning or where you were brought up. Those nowhere near justify robbing their life from them. But in a choice, if it's a choice between a human and an animal and it's a good human and not a piece of like Hitler, mm. then I would have to choose the human because of their, their experience might be a little bit deeper. Well, we know that it is, but we don't have a choice between a human and an animal. We've got a choice between a burger and an animal. And an animal's life is orders of magnitude more important than a five minute burger, especially to them. Their life matters to them. Yeah. Like your life matters to you. Maybe not on the same level, but there's some human beings who don't experience the full depth of what it is to be a human being. We protect them with human rights. We look after them. Dogs as well. Is that where you think you're just as important as a dog? Well, if you're not just as important, I'm going to kill them and eat them. Not how it works. It is in some countries. It's not right. Do you think it's right to kill dogs and eat them? If you've got, I'm talking, you've got options. you got some tofu, you got mock meat, you got uh, vegan well, options. I've been reading the Bible since I was four. And it very clearly says all God's dominion, all God's creatures are there to replenish you. There's a lot of things in that Bible. Do you take on, will you, do you accept everything that's in the Bible? Do you think uh, being gay is immoral? No. I think love everybody equally. Do, do you think everybody's gay? entitled to their own opinion. Do you think gay sex is immoral? No. Christianity is condemn it, don't it? Don't you go to hell for gay sex? Mm -hmm. Don't you go to hell for gay sex? No. In Christianity? I'm saying, do you take everything in the book to be truth? Yeah. Because I could pull up a couple of things and see if you... Yeah. Go crazy. The biggest passage in the Bible that talks about gay sex is actually all about one city. 
Okay. It, it's described as a place of, of mass rape, prostitution, and that gay sex in that place was non-consensual. So basically... And something... So, gay, so Christians don't believe being homosexual is a sin or doing a homosexual act is a sin? Is that what you're saying? I don't. No, I'm saying is it in Christianity, the I ideology... I can't speak for all Christians. You can't speak for no, all No, because you're using... Vegans. Yeah, but you're, I'm, you're, you're giving me your subjective opinion of gay sex. Yeah. But, but when I asked you, is it okay to eat animals, you said, in the Bible, it says. So oh, yeah. you're using the Bible and then you're not, you're not using the Bible. Isn't us stoning your wife if she commits adultery also in the Bible? <laughs> Under a very, very specific set of... I'm not a Christian expert, I'm asking you a Christian expert. Because you are I using... I didn't say I was a Christian expert. But you used the Bible to justify eating animals. Because you've been reading it since you were four. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I said that, that made it easier for me to look at no, I'm just asking you, did you use all of your moral uh, justifiers from reading the Bible? That's what I'm asking. No, not all. So n not, not everything in the Bible you follow to a T? Like all the commands I try my best. Yeah, what about thou shalt not kill? Uh-huh. What about um, Isaiah 11, 6, you know that one? Nope. The wolf lays down with the lamb? Oh, uh... And there'll be no evil done upon yeah, my yeah. mountain? Yep. It's when the animals stop eating each other? Yeah. Right. So in that when the uh, Messiah comes, or when the second coming, or the God's perfect paradise, is it something like that? I'm not a Christian, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Something so, to that so God effect. even thinks uh, that when no evil is done upon his mountain is when the animals will stop eating each other and everyone will live in harmony. Yeah, yeah? but they're still, so, so still in each other now. I'm living in alignment with God's will, and why aren't you? You know that God's will is for us to not eat other animals. Yeah. You can do it now. But you can't stop a dog from eating a fly. You can't stop children from being raped. They, that happens all over the world. Just because you can't stop it doesn't mean it's okay to do it. Okay, so if a cat chases a mouse in a field... I'm asking you, since you have the choice to live in alignment with God's perfect paradise, why don't you? Uh, autonomy... Because I'm not perfect. No, but you can easily do it. It's not even about being perfect. I'm an ex-gang member who was once violent, who changed his life around and is now non-violent to people and doesn't do this to animals. So if I can work it out, an ex-gang member who was violent... But now you're holding me to your standard. Oh, just basic decency. Well, you see, do you think this is wrong? The way that you're seeing there, mass farming, gassing, yes. So when you buy, when you buy, you go to the supermarket and you get free-range chicken, free-range eggs, free, so you don't eat uh, when you're not, out. Not from the. I don't. I don't buy my meat produce from from the supermarket. Yeah, but milk, eggs, all that stuff, cheese, everything like that all comes from like mass farming and slaughterhouses. All those animals are slaughtered just the same way here. The male chicks are ground up alive or gassed in the egg industry and dairy cows are slaughtered for burgers. So it doesn't matter if you get some of your meat from this guy that you know, like every single product here that you ever buy a cookie, it's got dairy from cows that are slaughtered. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just talking about like not holding you to my standard, just the standard that like to boycott things that you think are like morally wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like no. if you agree that's morally wrong, then you would boycott I... it. You would say, nah, I'm going to be a vegan because at least I know I'm avoiding animal agriculture. I don't know about that. So you don't think it's wrong to kill a cow even if they've been looked after? I gave you the Jeffrey Dahmer humane slaughter situation. Yeah. I made a, like an analogy. Yeah. And he, he didn't make them go into a slaughterhouse. For, I, maybe some of his victims, but some of his victims he didn't like, force into a slaughterhouse where they smelt blood and they had to escape a knockbox. Yeah. Like, we've investigated these places too, family-run slaughterhouses, and they're oh. just as horrible. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, in this, wherever you get your... I don't know, where do these cows that you buy get slaughtered? Do you visit the abattoir? I haven't, no. You haven't watched the animals be slaughtered? No. Okay, so you, there's one part of this situation that you don't know about. Mm. The main part, yeah. when they lose their life. Mm. So what do you think happens in there? Because I want to find out if you think it's wrong. All the bit you described about how they get killed. So they get forced down the kill line, put into a knockbox? I don't know. Like I said, I've not been there. Because you said, uh, basically, your friend's a farmer, so you know everything that goes on. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I have never claimed that I knew everything that's gone on. Okay. I know the farmer. I know how it's done. But you go for a special farm to get your meat. I do. But you don't know about the, this big part that's deleted, which is their, their slaughter. Yeah. Wouldn't you want to know? No, because I, tr I trust in what he says, because they're very keen on trying to be humane farmers, at least from their perspective of what that would mean. I know, I'm sure you would think of someone completely different. Do you think it's humane, what they're doing? The way that they said that they do it, and that they try to do it to make it as painless and simple as possible, then yes, as humane as it could be. Yeah, but is it humane? I'm not saying more humane than the, the worst situation possible. Like, oh, we'll go back is it, to... is it, what does humane mean? What does humane mean? You tell me. To show compassion, kindness, benevolence? Right. Do you think it's kind? To... To raise animals that trust you. I'll, I'll go back to the first thing we said. It's not, it's not more right, it's less wrong. Okay, so it's not humane. 
because it's not good. You said at the start, you said it's not good, but it's less bad. But you're boxing it, you're boxing it into a word that doesn't, because it's the, not fit for a genre. The meat industry use humane rhetoric all the time to the public. That's yeah. why I'm specifically oh, yeah. using that, that yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. yeah they will. They, they use it more than Mother Teresa used it when yeah. she was doing humanitarian work. I'm sure. So they act like they're like some amazing like charity yeah. that just has a sanctuary for animals and doing God's work. When really they're raising animals that trust them, they betray them by sending them to a one of the most horrible places on earth, which is a slaughterhouse, yeah. to get decapitated and chopped up into pieces. And then they say, it's all humane, mate, don't you don't have to worry, just trust me, and then you trust them. Yeah. You trust basically animal killers. Yeah. 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 And uh, but you wouldn't think the, the Jeffrey Dahmer situation I posed to you was humane or good. You probably think it's morally reprehensible. Yes. Just taking them out on a date, slipping them a date rape drug. Yeah, it's not and, great. And, and then they fell asleep and they didn't feel a thing and they, they don't wake up and they get chopped up into a freezer and eaten. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not brilliant. It's horrible murder. Yeah. Like, yeah, with victims involved. So, so that's not great, but this is morally permissible and you would eat the bodies of these animals here. Yeah. But you would not eat the humans, of course. A hundred percent. You have a contradiction? Probably. You wouldn't resolve that contradiction, though, like... I've tried a few times. Like what? Tell me. Whole milk, cut that out. So now it's skim milk? Um, no, like like uh, hazelnut, coconut. Oh, plant milk. Oh, okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Plant -based milk. Yeah, hundred percent. Good step. Tastes better. So why well. would you make that decision? Was it an ethical decision or was it to do with the... One of my milk? best friends is vegan. She went to Cambridge, studied... We've had conversations like this with no microphone uh, and no TV screens. Um, but yeah, so she did philosophy, uh, uh, human rights and all of the stuff we've been talking about. And actually that's why I'm so happy that I have that friendship. It's because we can have open dialogue about yeah. these these big things. You don't seem defensive, that's for sure. No, do you know what, man? Like, I, so a lot of people do get defensive and emotional and trying to fight back. Because, because, because it does make you feel bad. Because you do know that, that even if someone is doing it in the the least worst possible way, I wouldn't say the best because it's, it's not. It's a good you know, way of saying it's it. not because it's not the best way of doing it. It's the least the bad. best way of doing it right? is not to do it. Eh? No, it's to protect exactly. animals and leave them alone. Exactly. And and we've had many many open dialogues about that. And so I don't miss milk. You're not a baby cow right, as well. So that's well. That's, that's, yeah. That's, well, well. Sometimes I'm a bit of a cow. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, you got to think of what happened to those baby cows as well in order for you to take their milk. So a lot of them get slaughtered. In that. Like yeah. yeah. So try to do that. So basically, based. it was the dairy industry that you felt was bad so you felt that taking the milk away was a good was an easy thing to do so you did that or was it just do you know yeah i did it because it was the easiest it was the easiest instant change that i could that i could make for me personally but you will go to a specific shop in order to eat meat which is an incredible inconvenience well yeah i also i know I, like i know him and i've been going there for yeah but you, you so you will not eat meat outside of this one farm which is incredible well, apart from apart from restaurants and things like okay, that. okay so yeah. you do eat meat outside oh, yeah. just like everyone else yeah, you yeah, eat yeah. factory farmed animals animals that have been tortured and lived in horrible suffering as well as i've been doing this for 10 years speaking to people about this right and what i find is when people see this they go i've got this one farm this one farmer shop and my friend barry he owns it and i no, get no, that I, at least three times a day I, yeah. and i'll talk to him and i'm like you're 15 years old <laughs> what do you, you get your eggs from there your milk from there fish and he goes yeah and be fish and i'm like because we've got a fish at a farm and he goes, yeah fish and, and and lambs and also pigs are there and, and I was like, it's a one-stop animal product shop is it yeah. and you only ever eat that he goes outside here I'm vegan I was like yeah mate you don't even know what no. veganism was. No. so it's lies in terms of buying in meat for my household yeah that's where that is where I go but yes I like if I well it's lies isn't it it's lies when people do it I'll tell you why they do it because they want to avoid accountability for this yeah but they, so that what they do is they say I, I get this from this magical place you yeah, would never yeah, yeah. Have, you know, like I've been an investigator for a few years now too and I've seen all the investigations that people conduct yeah. These humane, happy, high welfare oh, yeah. places. Oh, theory comes down yeah. and it magically appears. Yeah. And trust me, vegan activists, I feel bad about this, but you gotta, I'm going to remove all accountability for myself and say there's this magical farm. That, and I never eat, like, just everywhere that everyone else does. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's basically... Oh, I, yeah. I do. I would, never, I, I, yeah. I would never lie about that. This is what I did. I felt like the biggest hypocrite, right? Mm. I felt like I, I was inconsistent in my, with my values. If I seen someone hurting an animal, I would jump in and intervene. Of course. And I felt that the only way for me to be consistent was to, to be a vegan. Yeah, to be consistent. Because... Throughout. Yeah, this is one of the best decisions we can make, other than being go, going out there and influencing others to avoid animal rights violations and unavoidable, like, like there's unavoidable deaths that occur, right, from existing. But I don't advocate for you to kill yourself. But when I, when we talk about like animals being gassed to death so we can eat their body, this is easily avoidable. Yeah. Why aren't you a vegan then? That's <laughs> what I want to know. Do you know what? 
I've, you got blood on your hands. I, I know. Yeah. yeah. Of course I, it's and, happened. I, and that is the funny part, right, is that I, I know. And you're smart. Yeah. Well. You inconvenience yourself to go to this one farm. Yeah. So you can make decisions, unless it was all just a story. No. I'll take your word for granted here. That shows me that you're willing to make decisions yeah. and inconvenience yourself. And being a vegan here, like you're in the UK, is one of the easiest decisions to make. Products everywhere, nearly every single fast food chain and restaurant they're has a vegan better. option. They, they're, like, they're everywhere, man. Yeah. You, know, you can get a vegan cake right now. Also, it's who we've got vegan options there. You pointed out, you tell me which store it is and they've got vegan options. Yeah. Oh yeah, That's yeah. Why, so it's such an egregious injustice because we have options. We're not starving to death. We're not living in the highlands with William Wallace and have well, the bloody wear of sheep in order to stay warm. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm, I'm from. I'm Scottish, by uh, the way, I'm, I'm, I'm an Armstrong. Are, are you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm a Campbell, yeah. so. Yeah, no, I mean. Lucky it wasn't that back then they would be going to war. I'd be on the animal well, side. <laughs> Blue face, no. Yeah, 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 it would suit you. Yeah, it would look good, the beard yeah. would have to you yeah. just, you know. I'd have my kilt on, you would oh, have yeah. yours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, I've got it on under this. You just, yeah, yeah. I'm it's, glad you're not. <laughs> I don't want to expose yourself. Oh, yeah. Clear, yeah, yeah. Well, well, literally, if a gust of wind goes, you're done for. But yeah, no. You can I, do it, man. The, the, uh, the overfishing one gets me. Yeah. Like, like that, like I, I don't eat fish right. ever. Um, my uh, mum and her partner live in a fishing village. And obviously that's, that's how his dad's 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 dad, dad have made their living but small fishing boat very kind of you know two guys on the boat and and they've they've said to me firsthand like i'm fishing here these, small, these, small, small these trawlers yeah. that come in they're ruining the fishing and then industry. when they yeah. they go and they're you know they trawl up everything in their path which is worse it's just yeah. like hitler is worse than your average serial killer but well, i still think fishing fish out the ocean less less bad yeah less bad it's the it's less bad. the less yeah, bad of out of the so fishing, very bad big fishing vessel is like the you know the trawling it's like the hitler of the ocean essentially to oh, the 100, fish. 100 but uh, somebody goes and just dangles one hook and drags that fish from their face out of the ocean you know i still think that that's just needless we don't need to do that yeah because for that fish We've tricked them into eating food and then hooked them in the face and suffocated them. It's just like dragging a dog into the water by a hook. Yeah. So we can eat them when we have options. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the options are getting better. And the options are getting better. better. Yeah. Even if that were worse, I'd still do it. I'm sure of that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Well, What's your, your name, brother? Good luck to you, Cameron. Cameron, thanks for chatting with me. No, mate. Pleasure. I really appreciate it, man. Best of luck. It's, um, somebody's got to. Shout out to your best friend. Yes. Heather is... Hi Heather. Vegan Hi Heather. Heather. Hi Vegan Heather. Hope she uh, gets you on the right track. She will do. Thank you. Cheers brother. Thank See you, you later.